where do you stand on those four quarterbacks? And also with Will Levis, you're surprised he fell out of the first. Yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll start with Bryce Young. The conversation about him being too small, I mean, that, that's a real thing, guys. I mean, he's, he's definitely made history with that pick and being the number one overall pick as well. It's almost not fair that he was born at that size with the skill set that he has. It's like not fair for him because his skill set is definitely second to like an Andrew Luck type skill set based on what I saw. Mm. Right. So he has all the tools. I think he's going to be a phenomenal player. Keeping him healthy needs to be the number one priority for the Panthers. It has to be because if he goes down there back to square one again. I mean, they they signed Miles Sanders and they signed a couple of veterans, uh, Adam Thielen, and they're still hoping for something from Terrence Marshall. Like, they're obviously trying to just retool that offense. Bryce Young can elevate the players around him. So I think he can make that team better just by being, you know, under center. But that that pick, I don't question, but they're going to have to protect him. C.J. Stroud is another one where, man, he, he had a Cadillac of offensive weapons that he played with at Ohio state. I almost want to say that that the receivers that he had at Ohio state were probably going to be the best receivers he'll ever play with. And so seeing him go to the Houston Texans, I understand exactly what they did. It was actually interesting that they moved up to take a deep, uh, you know, um, to take defensive line yeah. mm-hmm. and then take CJ Stroud. I love the idea of what they did. They got the two guys that they wanted and they made sure they got a quarterback. They could not have left this draft without a quarterback Texans need to make sure that ha- that happened but Stroud has a long way to go I mean I think he's got the arm talent I think it's it's a it, under pressure in the pocket is where we're going to see him get exposed because that's exactly where he got exposed at Ohio State so that's that's what I want to see how he handles that his freshman year because or his rookie year geez listen man college all recruiting is well his freshman uh, year it is his yeah, freshman uh, year. yeah i mean yeah. basically his freshman yeah. year so how he handles that is he going to overcome the adversity of the sacks that he's probably going to take uh, you got to hope so because if not that's we're going to see another another instance where there's ghosts that he's going to see and hopefully that's oh, not the case is so, he sam darn <laughs> oh god i hope not yeah i hope not and i i think cj stroud he's a competitor he's got great character he he's his work ethics you know very good uh, it's, but again, you know, they have the uh, new testing that they do and he scored what a 19, yeah, which is really low. So his processing needs to be quick. And I don't believe any of that, by the way, I don't, I, believe I don't any either, of that. but that's how that's, they, it's almost like, uh, it's almost like they just want to check enough boxes to feel comfortable with certain things. And that's the mental processing is definitely something I have a few have quarterbacks that scored low on those testing drew Brees. He's a pretty good player. Tom Brady. You, we all know who Tom Brady is. Russell yeah. Wilson. We all know who he is. I mean, that's just three that I know that scored very low on those tests and are Hall of Fame quarterbacks. I mean, Russell Wilson's still on his way to that. But those other two quarterbacks, <laughs> they didn't score very high on those tests. And look where they are. <laughs> so, right. Well, it's not the wonder look anymore. Yeah. I can't remember the name of well, it. Well, it's the same damn test. It, I mean, come on. It's the same type of thing, yeah, right. Just man, to get an idea of test. how intelligent and how quickly they can process information. Listen, um, you, you, you're telling me. the number one thing I think with Stroud is just how he, how he improves in that area. There is another team that a lot of people really, really liked uh, this year was the Atlanta Falcons. What did you think about the Atlanta Falcons draft this past year? Well, that was an interesting one with the pick of Bijan. For sure. I mean, this is a team that needs a lot. Uh, so taking a running back in the top 10, I think what they take him at eighth overall, mm-hmm. like I understand the impact that a guy like Bijan Robinson can make, but I really felt like this team needed to do a lot more. Um, I, I think they took an o- offensive lineman as well. I don't have Matthew Bergeron. Trying, yeah. Second round pick Syracuse yeah. tackle Syracuse tackle. Yeah. And I, I like that pick a lot. I think that they're doing a great job of making that offensive line, you know, pretty solid for a guy like Desmond Ritter, who I think is a dual threat, but is going to need as much protection as absolutely possible. Uh, you know, they they have taken Kyle Pitts, they've taken Drake London, and now they've taken B. John Robinson. I think that's their last three years worth of picks. They are trying to get playmakers put together to score as many points as possible. Zach Harrison was a third round pick. A lot of people thought he was an early second round pick. Clark Phillips, the third corner, uh, had a very good, yeah, had a very good season last year. Some people thought he was a top one hundred prospect. I thought they hit a home run on this year's draft. 